You're in the end zone. Brought to you in part by Macon Bedroom and Mattress, Fountain Car Wash and Lube, Georgia Orthotics and Prosthetics, The Rifleman, and Robin's Better Mattress with Bill Shanks and Tucker Sargent. Uh, it's been a tough start for Mike Chastain as the head coach at Winter Robins. His demons were 0-4 coming into the game tonight at home against West Lawrence. The demons defense has given up 45 points per game this season, and that would be a challenge against the Raiders, who had scored 97 points their first four games. Stacey Nobles has West Lawrence playing very well one week away from their start of region schedule against Howard. Here we go to McCall Talbert Stadium for the highlights of this game on a beautiful night for football. I've already said that, but I'll say it again. Opening kickoff now, Demons are going to kick it off to West Lawrence. McKinley Kemp, no relation, I don't think, to Matt. He's going to get it around to the 34-yard line or so. Then the Raiders would try to get going. Austin Ramsey hands off to Darius Bradford for a few yards. West Lawrence stalled, however, and after a punt, Warner Robbins got the ball on offense and went to work. Gabriel Floyd to Michael Bradley to the 40. Then on the Raiders 40, handoff to Jarius Burnett, who scoots through to about the 20-yard line. And the Demons are knocking on the door. They hand off to Javon Bradford Jackson. Nice run here. And he's going to be brought down, but a tough run for the Demons. Warner Robbins would have to settle for a field goal, however. Eli Mashburn gets it, and Warner Robbins is on the board. It's 3 0 Demons late in the first quarter. Kids. Look at us. There you go. 3 0 Demons. Second quarter now. Wells Lawrence tries to get on the board right before halftime. Nice pass from A.J. Mathis. He's a lefty, you know, to Ben Deal down at the Demon 16. Raiders had to kill the clock, tried to spike it. They got it. They would try for a field goal. Andrew Dukes, however, would miss it. It's wide right, and it was 3 0, 1 Robbins and a half. The Demons would hold on for their first victory in a tight game, low scoring. 10 6 the final. Demons improved to 1 and 4 and will be at Coffee next week while the 3 and 2 Raiders start region play against Howard. Now to Macon. First region game in 3A, double A for Bleckley County and Northeast. The Raiders coach is trying to fire up the team. And here come the Royals on the field. And here's the first quarter. Raiders with the ball in their own 25. Vincent McCarthy scrambles to his right, hits DeAndre Hicks for a first down right there. Another pass play coming for the Raiders. 16 yard gain coming up for Hicks. The pass is going to be caught at the 45 to the 40 and he loses his head here, don't we all? Now the Bleckley 35, McCarthy's going to scramble again to his right side and he's going to heave it into the end zone. Chavis Rouse, nice grab, touchdown. Get out of our way, camera people. They went for two, didn't get it at 6-0. Later in the first quarter on the Bleckley 45, another scramble to the right, another pass by DeAndre Hicks. Look at this nice play here for a game of about 12. They switch sides at the end of the first quarter with Northeast still up 6 nothing. Now McCarthy drops back. He's going to chunk it to Ralph. And look at that. That'll be nice right there down to the five yard line. Kimmelby drove them back down to the 25. McCarthy is going to get it shotgun looking in trouble and he's going to pass it to Hicks who scores. Just like that, Northeast gets there and lines up for two points and they will get it as McCarthy will keep it for two more. Raiders up 40, 14 to nothing. They're going to win it 41-6 in their first win of the season. Good one for the Raiders. Blackley falls to one and four. Let's stay in Region 3 in AA as Southwest hosted Dodge County tonight at Henderson Stadium. Nice night for football. Southwest of the ball in Dodge County territory. George Slocum runs a keeper and bursts through for the score. Patriots would miss the PAT at six nothing. Dodge County with the ball now in the first. Nick Cummings, and oops, is that for me? I guess so, he takes the eye off the ball and it sneaks past him. Cummings able to fall on it. The Dodge County Indians would have to settle for a field goal by Peyton Bush. 6-3 Patriots is the score. Now later on in the second quarter, Southwest is going to punt it, but the Indian player, watch this. He's gonna bobble it, right at around the 40 and Patriots would recover. Big turnover there, next play. Patriots go for the long ball. Slocum, he heaves it. I like that word when they throw a long way, and it's caught. Marquez Burton for six points right there. 12-3 Patriots after Southwest fails another attempt at a two-point conversion. Patriots getting pumped up here because they are not done yet. Here's Slocum again. An even longer pass. He heaves it. As Earl Warner's two best with said, look at that catch right there. How about that? Burton finishes off with another touchdown. Beautiful. Southwest just doesn't like the point after another two-point conversion attempt failed, but no, they would get this one. I'm sorry. Antonio Valentine reels it in. That made it 20-3 Southwest close to the end of the first half. They hold on and win 26-19. Patriots now 2-3. and three. They are off next week, and the Indians fall to 1-4. and four. When we come back, Tucker Sargent joins us with our Game of the Week, Westside at Peach County. 
More of the end zone right after this.